Well, you all saw it was an inevitable sentence. Um, there was no discretion by the judge, as he stated. And I know that the judge felt that I was re-arguing the motion for a new trial, but there was a reason why I stated it again, because the issue was so important and the issue was so germane to our justice system. And in essence, what happened here, and as I said this, before I met any of you, this case was simply an inquisition. It was a show trial, and how it ended is exactly perfect for that description, in that it didn't make a difference what the jury saw, what they said, what they discussed, what they voted on. At the end of the day, all that mattered was the government's evidence, no matter how flawed it may have been, no matter how many lunatics and sociopaths and psychopaths that it depended on. All that mattered was the evidence and the jury be damned. We learned that up to five jurors broke the law, violated the law while they were judging Mr. Guzman for crimes. And nevertheless, we couldn't even get a hearing to determine what actually happened because as we all know, had we had that hearing, had we had that hearing, chaos uh, would have ensued and we would have been back here for round two. And that was something that the United States government could never have. They fought desperately against it. And that's why the judge ended this with a, a very uh, quickly written and canned 43-page opinion, which will now be part of the appeal and probably the most significant appeal issue. So um, all we had asked for at the beginning was a fair trial. I'm not here to tell you that Joaquin Guzman is a saint. I'm not here to tell you that what occurred um, that, that the witnesses were unusual than any other American trial. All we asked for was fairness. And no matter what you think of Joaquin Guzman, he still deserves a fair trial. Everybody does in America. Because if you don't give a fair trial to Joaquin Guzman, what happens to the guy off the street that gets arrested for tax evasion? Well, they got away with it in a case like Guzman. They can get away with it in a case like that as well. With regard to Andrea uh, Fernandez Velez, it was a wonderful uh, audition to, to watch her. I, I have uh, empathy for her. Um, but what was left unsaid was the fact that for her drug dealing, which included many things that had nothing to do with Joaquin Guzman and many things that she tried to do behind his back, which came from government witnesses. I'm not making this up. She didn't spend a single day in prison. So I think that was a pretty good uh, thing to end up with, to be involved in drug dealing for all those years. Um, she had romantic relationships with multiple uh, narco traffickers. Um, she certainly did her part. She talked about concern about being killed. Well, she certainly did her part uh, to get other people put in the soup as well, having nothing to do with Joaquin Guzman. But today, is, I'm not here to bury uh, Andrea Velez Fernandez, just to point out that this is one of the sweetheart deals that the government witnesses got. For all of her drug dealing, for all of her crimes, she did not spend a single day in prison. And she's not the only one, because other people testified in this case that never spent the day in prison, that weren't even charged with the crime. The killers that you heard that testified, short sentences, some of them are out already. Some of them have uh, been out for years. Others are getting out soon, and they're all going to be here. They're all going to be here. We're not getting the best uh, from Mexico. We're not getting the best from Colombia. We're not getting their best. They're here. They're going to get citizenship, and they're going to be walking amongst you. Remember that. All to get Joaquin Guzman. Could they have gotten Joaquin Guzman without every single one of them that they made these deals with? Of course they could have, but it might have taken more of an effort and it might have put a conviction more at risk. So with that, I appreciate all of you coming. You guys worked very hard. I apologize to all of you that have been here since last night, but it's not my fault.